Hi there, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions from our Elements fans. Today's question comes from Christopher, and Christopher wants to know how to take a picture and get rid of a gray color cast. Thanks for sending in your picture. This is an awesome shot, but yeah, I can totally see that gray tone to it. Well, we're going to get rid of that. First thing we want to do is make sure that you're in expert mode. Across the top, there's quick, guided, and expert. So if you're not already there, go ahead and click on expert to get into expert mode. Over on the right, you'll notice the layers panel. If yours isn't showing, well down here in the bottom right are a number of buttons. Just go ahead and click on the layers button and it'll open up this layers panel. And today we're gonna to use something called adjustment layers. They're pretty easy. This icon right up here in the top of our layers panel is how we add an adjustment layer. So go ahead and click on that and you can see all the different adjustment layers that are available. Basically what an adjustment layer is, is a way to adjust your photo in a non-destructive way. So the first thing we want to do is boost the saturation a little bit in your photo, right? Bring those colors out, make them a little more vibrant and pop a little bit. So I'm going to come down to the hue saturation adjustment layer, just select that. And Photoshop Elements will add a new layer, a hue and saturation adjustment layer, on top of your original layer, which is just your original photograph. And I can mess around with all these sliders and do lots of detailed things, but really all I want to do right now is change this saturation slider. And the saturation slider really controls how vibrant my colors are. If I slide it up, they hit really vibrant, a little bit crazy if I go all the way. If I slide it down, it basically sucks all the color out of your photo and turns it into black and white. Well, I want to go up just a little bit. I don't want to make it look crazy. I still want it to look kind of natural, you know. You can slide it however your personal tastes are, but I'm going to leave it at about 40, 42, right in there somewhere. I think that looks much better. So that's one thing that we can do to your photo to make it look a little bit better. The next thing I want to do is adjust something called levels, and there's an adjustment layer for that. So again, just click on the adjustment layer icon, come down, pick the one you want. I'm going to pick levels. And it's going to add yet another adjustment layer on top of my original photo. And it's going to let me adjust the levels. And what levels are is really a way to control lighting. So shadows, highlights, midtones. Now one of the really cool things about the levels adjustment layer is actually this auto button right here. I find that probably 95% of the time when I need to adjust lighting, the auto button just takes care of it for me. So just go ahead and click on auto. And it is going to analyze your photo and figure out how to adjust the, the shadows, the highlights, the midtones to make it look really good. So simple as that, by just clicking Auto, I can fine tune the lighting in my photo. Now the next thing I might want to do, this is optional, but you know, if I'm editing this photo, this is something I do. I'd want to actually brighten up their faces a little bit. But I don't want to brighten up the rest of the photo because that auto levels adjustment took care of most of my photo. But I just want to add a little more brightness to their faces. So what I'll do to take care of that is just add one more adjustment layer, another levels adjustment layer. So it's added a third layer on top of my photo. And I'm going to adjust things so I can brighten up the faces. Now, the way you do that most easily is to just grab this little gray triangle right here in the middle of what's called the histogram and slide it right or left. If I slide it right, it's going to darken things. If I slide it left, it's going to brighten things. So slide it to where you like it. Don't worry about the rest of the photo, because I think what you'll find is since we had already adjusted the levels in most of your photo uh, with that automatic levels adjustment, by brightening things up a little bit, it's going to over brighten a lot of the other photo. And we'll take care of that in just a second. So just focus in on the faces. Slide this little gray triangle right or left to get the faces as bright as you want them. And then we can just go ahead and click up here to close this panel so we can see all of our photo. Now, how are we going to make this brightness be just on their faces? Well, that's what this thing right here is for. This is called a layer mask. And the way a layer mask works is if I paint with black, that layer is hidden. And if I paint with white, that layer is shown. So right now it's all white. So all of that adjustment layer is showing. But if I just come over and grab my brush tool, this one right here, the first one in the draw section, and then I come down to my color section, and I make sure that black is my foreground color. And if it's if I have white and black, I can flip them by clicking these little arrows here. Uh, so just get black as your foreground color. And then just come over on top of your picture and paint on top of your picture. 
And what you can see is I'm not actually painting black on my picture. What I'm doing is painting black on my layer mask. Back over here on the top right, you can see where I painted with my brush with black. It's actually painted on that layer mask. Now make sure you had that layer mask selected, this little blue triangle uh, around it. If it's not, maybe your adjustment is selected. So just click on that layer mask and then just keep painting. So as you can see, as I paint, wherever I paint on that layer mask, that little extra brightness is hidden. So pretty quickly I can paint around and I can get rid of that extra brightness where I don't want it and just leave it on their faces. Now this little eyeball right here on each of these layers is a way to show and hide the layer. So if I hide that layer, you can see now their faces are dark, right? That's without that little extra adjustment to brighten them up. If I click again, it's gonna brighten them up. If I click on this little icon here on the adjustment layer, I can continue to fine tune things. So now that I've just got their faces being affected by that adjustment layer, I can mess with it some more. I can crank it way over and get it really bright. And I actually can now see an area that I didn't paint on my mask. So I just want to come over and select my mask, paint right there to get rid of the adjustment on that part of my photo. And it looks like maybe a little over here too. And then I can come in and I can fine tune just the face area and get it looking exactly as I like and close this window here so I can see my photo. So as simple as that, I created three adjustment layers, one of them for uh, saturation to sort of boost the colors a little bit, one of them to brighten up the whole photo and sort of adjust the levels of the shadows and the highlights and the midtones, and then a third one to just brighten up their faces. Often you wanna provide some adjustments just on part of your photo. If I hold my Alt or Option key down and click on the eyeball for my original photo, It'll hide those other layers. So now, oh my goodness, it really looks gray. It didn't look so gray when we started out, but that's how it looked. And if I alt click again, you can see with just a couple adjustment layers, we've been really able to get this photo to pop and look a lot better. Hope that helps, Christopher. Have a great day.